Right, we've got loads to do. We've started to look at the steel wheels on the stig, but we're just working out the wheel nuts, and I haven't bought the hubcaps. There's a little cover to go over that. So that, that's not going to do with this video, just a mild distraction. <laughs> this video is about this beautiful box in which, hopefully, be embarrassing, if not, well, we'll delete it, but um, <laughs> there should this. be a ladder. A ladder which is going <laughs> to cling on the side here. And it's deployable, not deplorable. Well, we'll see if it's deplorable. Hopefully it's just deployable. And it's gonna, I guess, give us a big chum down here and we can scramble up onto our roof rack. Now, as you will see, I'll digress. No, we'll talk about it later. Grab the part number, Tyler. So this is a genuine Land Rover Ryden. They are somewhat tricky to get hold of at the moment. A lot of things are. Oh, eco packing, extra points, we like that. Well done. Gosh, that looks like a sort of wasp's nest. <laughs> it's like a whole tree. Of... Yes, <clears throat> that is super eco, that. Huh? That's one. It feels weird as well. It's... Right, there you go. Cardboard packing, nice. Well done, Land Rover. Right. Got wasps working for them. Yes. Maybe I should try that, Tyler. Right, what have we got there? That looks like a little cover plate, doesn't it? I reckon I know where that goes. I've, I've cheated. I've read the instructions. I think that's going to cover the sort of... That's going to cover the top bit of the ladder up there somewhere. But we'll have a look. Oh, you're so excited. Right then. Right. Oh, oh. oh, oh no. classic Land Rover. Oh. Look at that. Look at that little zippy bag. And look, and it's unzippy. Look. So we now have a... To be fair, it was only when I touched it. They hadn't, but it was on the cusp of... Right, let's have that. Let me put that down for a minute, so I don't know. Let's have a look what they've forgiven us here. Land Rover, can you please, Jeez. please? Otherwise, people are going to be leaving. Improve your baggage. Right. There we go, we think we've got everything, don't we? We hope we have. Right then. There we go, it's good. I do like the packing, well done. Right. Right, so we have got two of these. Now these are the bits that are gonna slide in for the roof rack. I'm pretty sure I've got those sorted. And we got these are the bolts that are gonna go in into the trim from the side. And I reckon these spacers are gonna go over it. I haven't done one, but we'll have a look. Right, what else have we got? We've got a series of we got some big old washers. Some Gert big washers. Right, we've got some little sort of, they've got a little shoulder on them. So we've got two with a little shoulder on. Look at those little baby Ooh. ones. Look, they've got two, two daddy ones and two baby ones. What right, we got there, they're quite plasticky though. And then one of those, is that good? No, we've got so. another one. Oh, we got another he's one? Hidden. Oh, he's hidden, he's run away, look at those. Two of those, look at that, just like Noah's Ark, look. They all went in for two by twos other than them. Right. <laughs> right. Now okay. for the main event. It looks like it comes pretty well fully assembled, doesn't it? There we go. So that is the ladder. We've got a key there. It looks sophisticated. It does look sophisticated. Not me, Tyler. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We got that. We got, we got, this is like got a nice, look at that. It's got a pretty nice contoured shape there. I guess this is nicely shaped to go around the side of the car. Right. That all looks good. So these look like these are going to be the mounting points at the bottom. Okay. Right. And that's it. Right. So there we go. So we've got that. And this, I think, is going to go over the top. I think that's going to form like a little cover that way round. Okay, so we're happy with that. Right, so we have laid everything out as per the diagram because we love instructions. So we have A, the ladder. Voila, i go multilingual today. We have B, these little bits here. Doop, doop, doop. Right, let's move it. It's like, so I'm going to mess it up. C, yeah. they do in a weird order. C, they're these little M6 Sort of top hat. Top hat, good word. Um, plastic they are, by the way. And then you've got your M6 by 16 bolts here, F. Right, K for keys. I like what they did there. Cheeky, that. They did the K for keys. Right, and then they've got the J. For, I don't know how you get a J into that bit. The J for the cover. Right, 
Now this is where we got confused because G is two M10 washers. Now, I'll go through the confusion at the end because there's our two M10 washers and they're M10 washers because they go on the M10 bolts. Then we got our two M10 bolts. Then we got our two M10 top hats. And we've got our two little tubes. Choop, choop. There. But we have this little shocked face of extra free components. We've made it into a nice little smiley shocked face. So I don't know quite why we've, they've lavished us with extra parts. And we're also a bit confused because we're now in a situation where we don't know if G is these narrow washers here or these fat ones. Because you'll, you'll notice the scale's a bit bonkers because if this is 10 mil on their scale, that looks about 20 mil. And that one looks, that one looks comparable with that. So I've got no idea um, which one it is. But there we go, there's some 10, take your pick. Got options. Options, we'll go for those big ones because we like large, right. So we now have everything. Now I'll read the next step of the instructions and see where we go. Right, the instructions then get into some debate about on the 90, the short wheelbase defender, some of the crossbars had this little slot. And that slot is to put that little bit there in and then you slide it along. But some of them don't have that little slot, so you have to slide it in from this end. But then depending what accessories you've got fitted, you have to take the foot off like to put it in here to slide it past the obstruction to get it to where we need it, right? So they, they go into quite some length about that, but I don't think it's such a big deal. Um, you'll soon see what the deal is. They've all got slots in them at some point. So, right, and I think that's what they're going on about here. They do like to, right. And then they basically say, identify this little blue strip, but it's not blue, obviously, it's color coded to your car. Okay, and that's a 90 and that's a 110. And then they say, wash it. Now, I think that's probably good practice anyway. And then they're saying to put some tape now, that's so that you can mark the position of the hole. So we'll gloss over that for the minute. Um, and basically what you've got to do now is remove this bit of trim. So we'll get onto that. And then we're looking for these two holes. And while I do that, we will have a discussion. So basically just to reiterate, reiterate, yes. We're looking for the two holes that are going to be used to mount these bottom points here. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Right, open your rear door. Now our trims have been off a couple of times, haven't they, Ty? Yeah. Um, and basically we found it easier on the other side to get in here and you can then gently pull. Maybe that's why they say put the tape along. I don't think so. I think it's doing marking later. So you've got a series of these little clips. Now, in a minute, I'm pretty sure we're gonna to have to drill two holes through here. Now, if your car hasn't been messed about with mine has you will have two little bits of tape circular bits of tape on here and you'll have to get your finger under or if you sort of give up just poke your finger through and pull them off now so you'll notice there are these little holes for the clips but it's these big holes here so you should better see from that picture there where you're looking for and they'll have painted bits of tape over so they're they're camouflaged and what you need to do is take that off to expose these M10 threads inside. Right, let's explain something here. Stand back a little tighter, give me some space. Right, this side is the left hand side of the car. Now I don't know how this is for those people that decide to drive on the other side of the road, I don't know, but you'll notice we've only got two. Now on the other side of the car, we, now, come, 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 avoid my mess, right. You'll notice we've got two holes here, and this is where the lunchbox goes. We've got it off at the moment because we're playing, right? But we will notice that if I pop this off, you will notice you have the two holes we need for the lunchbox here and here, but you've also got, and I expose them, you've got the two. So you could put the ladder on this side, but you cannot put the lunchbox on the other side because you'll go back, we'll go back and have a look. That rearward one, look, it's just, a short distance from these rears. Let me just slide that back on there. Right. You will notice it has no hole. We actually we drilled that hole because we were we wanted to see if there was a nut behind it. So there is no hole. There is no threaded hole. There is no way of mounting the lunchbox on this side. But your step now. Why do I ask? 
someone said, I've got a roof tent and you can only get up the roof tent from one side or something. And so they were quite concerned about the ladder. So my view is you can put the ladder on both sides for these reasons. Right. Yeah. Right, what are we ready to do now, Tyler? Read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, probably drill some holes. Drill some holes. Oh no, not the controversial drilling again. You get into a... So there we go, there's the two holes. Right, and then they say, yeah, and this looks like the 90. So it looks like they're more mid. So that's a good point. So this is the 90. So where our two were quite near the front, you've got a longer slab side on there. So by the square, if you've got the stylus square. It's optional on the 90, did you know that time? The stylus square? The stylus square is optional. Right, there you go, there's the one. Now what it's saying is use your bits of tape to mark where your holes are. And I think what they're gonna tell you to do is to put your trim back on, or they're gonna measure it from some reference data point. And it looks like what, put your trim back on, line it up with the back edge, and then transpose the positions onto the middle of that strip. So I think we can do something like that, can't we? I think we'll cheat. We'll, we'll do it with a whiteboard marker, Tyler. Right. The advantages of a white car. <laughs> right, so highly scientifically. It's all just a whiteboard. Obviously people, I'm recommending you use masking tape, obviously, but we will. Do as we say and not as we do. <laughs> That's it. So we are gonna, now I don't need to go above as well. I guess if you wanted to do a highly scientific crosshair range, you could. Right, and then we've got to put that trim that I've lost already. Did you give it to me, Tyler? Well, I never had it in the first place. We found no. it. <laughs> never, there's a rule in the workshop, never give anything to Simon, because he'll lose it. Right. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, uh. Have I got, have I got just enough? Like, it covers a, yeah. it covers a chunk, doesn't it? Right, then. Right, I'm gonna mask and take this, actually, and then I'm gonna transpose that onto there so we can get on and do our holes. Right, in an attempt to look professional and scientific, I've got what I believe is called a tri-square. And I think by holding that there, I can get it, and we've marked, you can see we've marked a line here and a line here, highly accurate. Right, I think, it'd be interesting to see, when we put it on, we've got to drill a 90 millimeter hole, hence my other video, drilling 90 millimeter holes. I'll put the link to that later, not quite yet. Um, so I think we've got to measure the center point of here now, but we can take this strip back off, and then we've got to drill it. But let's see what the instructions say. Right, so we've got the instructions, so obviously you're going to remove it. Now, interesting this, it says there's some little bits of metal you can remove, but I'm, I'm not sure what it says. It says, incorporate tooling, removing the metal strips will make drilling the two holes easier. So I'll have a look what they mean. Do they mean just grinding it off or what? I'm not sure. Now notice that on the 90, so the Land Rover Defender 90 short wheelbase, the bits of metal you're, obviously it's just in the vicinity of where you've got to drill the hole. So this is the back side. So we'll have a look at that, do all that. And then you've got to basically drill, mark and drill your two holes. I'm gonna make sure you wear suitable protective equipment, Tyler. Um, and then we're down to our 90 millimeter holes. Now, if you want to see a fantastic video on how to drill 90 millimeter holes, go and follow the link there. Right, um, Tyler, what drill are you going to choose? What's, the, what's your choice having done the training module on 90 millimeter holes? A hole saw. Hole saw, right, let's get it all ready. Right, now as far as I can see, Land Rover don't give you any dimension in this vertical direction here. So it seems to imply you drill it in the center, which is what we did the other side. Come this way, come this way. But when we drilled the hole in the center originally here, you can see that we were off. You can see that the hole is much higher than the center, almost right next to the top. Um, so there we go, so there. So we are gonna drill it. I reckon it's about 23. So we're gonna drill it slightly towards the top. Now. Don't go drilling at 23 until you've watched how this video turns out. <laughs> it may well change. So this is our first time doing it. So we are going to drill it at 23. Have a look. Don't go drilling yet. Keep watching. Right. Tyler, what have we got? Right, yeah, let me do some video and you can do some work. So we've got these little clips on the back. Now these little clips, we can. Now the instructions don't tell you to do this, I don't think. But I think you can push them down there. My little spider man. Mm. Little legs. Little legs, right? And if I if I were going to be beaten by a plastic clip tire, I think I am. Go on. Well, Spider-Man's beating me. I think we need a little bit of a 
a leverage. Maybe it comes the other way. His, le his legs are sticking. Let me get a screwdriver. Right, there we go. This is a lot easier. Look, if you just tease the little the little legs out of the spider there. I'm only taking this out. The instructions don't tell you this. It's just so that we can hold it flatter and make ourselves look good. He says, dropping <laughs> it on the floor. Right. So there we go, those little spoilers. And when you put them back in, you've got these little... Yeah. Right, Land Rover said, I'll oh, just remove the bit of metal. Now this is an extrusion. So it, it's not like it's a separate bit. It's like an extrusion is when you have plasticine and you, and you push it all up through and it all comes through the star shape or the crescent shape. This, this is made as an extrusion. So, so this bit is an integral part. So I don't think we're gonna be able to remove that, Tyler. So, Let's just have a look. So, not no. easily. So we have got that. So we can now hold that flat on the bit of wood. I don't need to get those. We can hold that flat, right? And then, right. And then let me grab a camera, Tyler. And then centre punch first, obviously. He's gone for the drill. Look, it's just all Get it already. Just after the power tools. Right. So this should give you a little dent for the drill to naturally find a home yeah that one had sort of two lines didn't it i believe you're the, the sound of hammering on a glass table <laughs> oh. right yeah you got two little, two little dents there yeah. right so if i hold this tight there right have you got your eye protection on no, I no he hasn't oh, da, da, da. right here we go then so i'm gonna start slightly quick just to get the first bit and then Slow down once yeah. you're it. Go on then. Oh, you've got it on the torque, you need it on the drill setting. That's it. Go on slow, nice and slow. Does that look? Alright, let's do the other one. We could check that one first, but we're gonna we're going <laughs> for it. We'll risk it. So you I'll risk it for a biscuit. You on speed two again for the? I'm glad you're holding it. Yeah. Oh, it's bouncing around on something. Mm -hmm. I think it's that that extra strip is trying to. Yeah. Right, we will. We'll do it. I was going to try to leave the masking tape on there for now. We could take yeah. it off right at the end because we. Well, it's more if we if we scratch it as we're, we're offering up the roof rack and stuff. Right, let's put that on and see how central. If you can clip that on. Oh, well, you haven't got all the clips in. It doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter. We haven't put those little Spider-Man back on. But you can get the rear ones on and see if it... Right, is the 23 about okay? He's all right in that one. He's all right, isn't he's he? He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. You wouldn't. Almost the trouble is, you're going to be going really close to mm. the edge if you don't. If you go a lot, I think the 23 might be, might be all right. Let us know your, your findings. Right, back to the instructions. All oh, the computers died. Right, so it says now you can put the strip back in. Obviously, you'll have to fit the two Spider Men, oh, which we'll do now. And then we've got to get up onto the roof and fit these bits. Right, we are perched on the, we, I am perched on the Land Rover Defender with these little brackets. Now they're both the same, but you'll notice they're not symmetrical. They've got a wider side. This is like a wider, shallow, and then you've got a, sh a sort of shorter side. That distance there and that distance there is bigger. And when you put them in the car, this wider side needs to go towards the middle of the car more. And if you look, if you jump up, Tyler, you will notice that on these roof rails, it's quite hard because they're black. But this rib, this inner rib, is wider than this outer rib. Now, I thought we'd have to take this off. I'd been scared by Land Rover's instructions. But actually, there's enough room here. It's quite tricky. So remember, the inner, the wider side goes in. So the wider side goes in. And basically, we've got to get those in. And we've got to slide these two along now. So they're roughly in line with, if you step back down again, we've got to get them roughly in line with there, because that's gonna go there. So there we go, so we're all in, without even having to remove the roof rack, which is, I'll well, say, does some time to iron. A right. lot of time. Right, next step. Right, so we are now ready to position the ladder on the top and put the two screws in the top. 
Now, when you put the two screws, it's all gonna flop against the bodywork here. I've removed the masking tape and cleaned up the edges of these holes as well quickly. Right, so I've put, this isn't ideal, but I've put something here so that as I hook it on, I can just let it rest against this and I'll put some masking tape on the black paintwork here. Right, another interesting thing it looks like, we'll look at later, is when the ladder's on, and this is the cover, it looks like they've left the gap so that um, hopefully the light can still get through our alpine windows. <laughs> we'll have a look at that when it's fitted. Hope, because there is actually a, there's two windows in this. There's one piece of glass here, but there's a ridge down the middle. So hopefully it doesn't obscure the light too much. We'll have a look. Just thought about that. Right, now, what are we going to put in the top? We are going to put these little M6 by 16s with the little top hat like that. But oh, it's going to be a bit fiddly for me, and I'm going to be holding the ladder and trying to get them in. So I've come up with the most cunning of plans. I'm going to use two slightly longer nuts that I don't have to mess about with, and I can just spin them in. I'll get those both in, or one in, and then I'll swap them over and then put the others in while it's up there. So I'm going to do it that way, so don't panic. Right, here we go. So, right, so the ladder is locked. Now, the two lower bolts, we have to unlock and lower it, but for the top two, which is all I'm worried about at the moment. Right then, so let's have a look now. You've got two places. Now I'm not sure, I'll have to look on the instruction, if the 90 and the 110 are in different places. Because um, those top two mounts can slide along anywhere they like. So it doesn't really matter which one they're in. I can't see it makes an, an ounce of difference. It doesn't matter, but the instructions are showing one in here and one in here. So in these, in these ones that go side to side when it's on the car. Right, let's see if I can do this time. Let's see. You're gonna have to hold it while Oh yeah, I think we'll try. It says you need the help of an assistant, but who needs assistance? They're overrated, I reckon. So. Right, Just get in the way. Right, right, and then, and at some point, we're going to have to look where the... I'm going to have to fire that one in there a little bit. Oh, I'm happy with my idea to use those. <laughs> right, now... That is now hanging. We've got a ladder. And you can see it's now. What we now need to do is, so I know I've got the wrong box, but I should be able to lift it up and, and sort of move those. I might have over. Ah, oh, there you go, yeah. So don't do them too tight or you will lose your movement. Now, one thing it is saying is that when you open this door, which I can't because of my protection for the minute, this edge of the ladder here, apparently they've designed it and it gets a little bit close. Whether that's on purpose or not, we don't know. Right, first thing we need to do is deploy the ladder. I haven't actually worked out how to do this yet. Right now. So, so when it's locked, oh, when it's locked, you can't pull this thing. So that's unlocked. And, that's, and then it says something about holding the middle step. Right now. I can't work out how to deploy it, Tyler. Maybe I do need the help of an assistant. Right, let's, let's read the instructions. What am I not doing right there? I can hear a, a mechanism going. Right, turns out these assistants are half useful, sometimes. Right, and Tyler's worked it out. It's not docked in at the moment. So there's me trying to slide it down like I do my loft ladder at home, thinking that's the... But it does a sort of mechanism, so... You pull that. Hold the middle rung, it says, Tyler. There you go. And it, it comes out towards you. There you go. That, that, that baffled me. Now, I don't... Uh, yeah. All right. Now, don't go climbing on that yet, Ty. Right. So, do our holes line up, Tyler? Can you look through there? Yeah. Yeah. That's about. That's, that's some, some sort of liney up pitch going on there. The camera's not happy. Right, then. So, do you want to... Now, you're doing it, Tyler. So, now, this looks a bit tricky because what we've got to do is we have got to get... From the outside, we've got to insert a bolt with the little top hat. So can you see I've got that little top hat? In fact, let me take it off to make it clearer. So the top hat goes on that way. Onto there, that's plastic, that top hat washer. And then somehow, with cunning and dexterity, Tyler is going to have to... That goes through the ladder, and then it needs that on it, the washer, and then the spacer, which is going to go in and push against... That should go through our 19mm hole, I'm guessing, Tyler. 
Um, yeah, that looks like it's going to go through. So, and then rest the gate right. So do you want to have a go? I don't know how you're going to do it, Tyler, but you want to grab those bits and see yeah. if you can get one of those in. Right then. So you've got visibility. You're going to have to... I've got to do this right it's space, yeah. uh... So you, you put the spacer on the, yeah, and then what you've got to do is obviously pull that out. You're going to have to, to give yourself some space. There you go. Right, I've, I've got it out for you. Now put the, the bolt through from the outside first, I would. And then, can I see what you're doing in there? That's it. Then you've got that over there. You got the, do you get the washer on first? No? I right, put the washer's got to go. <laughs> yeah, so put the bolt through. Put the bolt through. With the... Right, then the flat washer. Then the spacer. Right. right, and then you've sort of got to lower that into the hole. Now, the problem you've got to do is you've got to do that on the other one. So if you do that up, you're chasing your tail on the other one, Tyler. Do you see what I mean? So let me hold that one for you. You grab the other one. Spread it slightly. Yeah, which may or may not be possible. Because you may, you may not have given yourself room to get the other spacer in. We really need anti-loss washers on there. Mm. Those anti-loss washers would be cool. Right, I think I can hold this for you, Tyler. If you unthread... Oh, well, yeah, I don't think he's got any. Right. right, hold on. Right, I've got that one, honestly. Yeah, they could have gone given you some little anti-loss washers, so you could have put everything on and it would have gripped on the barbs of the thread. Suggestion there for Land Rover, make it a bit easier. We could laser cut some out of acetate sheet. All right, you push that one through. All right, then, right, Tyler. Then you've got to sort of wiggle those up. You can't see a lot, can you? You kind of, it's kind of a thing of faith, isn't it? Well, that one's going in. We don't want to cross thread them. You... Now, what we may have to push the whole. You may have to push the whole ladder up a little bit, Tyler. There you go. Look, if I just take the weight of the ladder, has that allowed you to... Yeah. Yeah? Hang on, a little top tip there. Sorry, the filming's a bit... I think people can see what we're doing. Right, we've been a bit careful. I've got the extension, and I can get a bit more push on it. Uh, again, I don't want to put a socket on it until I know they're not cross-threaded. Right. Now, I guess we shouldn't go super tight on those yet because we've got to check the door opens. And now we've got to see, and once we've got to get our, our yeah. piece of, oh, look, look, we're not too bad. Look, there is a... Oh, he's coming. There's a gap there. Hmm. Right, let's get that off. Right. So, the, right, I'll get this tidy, and then what we've got to do is we've got to get... Get all this off, and then we've got to line everything up. We've got to make sure. So let's have a look at it. Let's have a quick look. A bit preemptive because it's not fully, fully tight yet. That's good. But what they're worried about, I think, is this little bit of rubber here catching. But that, no, that's just that's just where it catches on the door there, which is fine. So we're looking all good. So we'll start tentatively. So we'll put those proper M6s in the top there. Um, I think they were useful just to hold it while we messed about. I should be get those in and let's have a look how it looks. Right, so just check those top two are tight. So, yeah, actually I can see from in here with that interior light on, Tyler, that, that it does, it, this bit misses the, the bit inside, but this bit half covers it. I guess it would have been nicer if they could have made it mm -hmm. exactly, because we've half obscured it. But anyway, not to worry, not to worry. Right, um, we'll give it a score at the end, won't we? Right, <laughs> tighten the bottom two now. Now, is there a torque setting in the instruction? I believe there is. I think it says 48 oh. newton meters, we'll but have a we'll have a check. check. We'll put I'll put the screenshot up when I edit the video. Yeah. I'm getting good at that now. Do a bit of magic. Now, I guess we're supposed to make sure it's hard to see. Ah, oh, can we see from this side? That the See if you can get your camera in there, Tyler. Those spacers are supposed to go through the through the 19 millimeter hole. Do you see what I mean? Because yeah. if they rested against the white trim, I don't think it'd be very good. Yeah. So it needs to go. Right, we'll check the torques. But yeah, what I'm, what 
I'm saying there is you've got that spacer and that spacer's got to go through the, the 90 millimeter hole we did in that white trim. If it sits on the edge, it's going to rest on the white trim. So try and make sure it goes through so it's sitting on the car body behind this white trim. Right, so Rudder. we are there. We have a step. So right, how did it, and you, so that does a little flip. We've got some instructions on here, have we? So is this the, uh, is this, okay, so I'm trying to work out, it's saying, okay, one, yes, one, flip it up, I oh, can't, yeah, one is flip it up, and two is, so one is flip it up, and then two, I guess they say, and hold the middle step, unless there's nothing here that you're gonna get trapped, and then that stops. So there's only a lock on the right side. Really? So only this part is like this part's. Let's have a look at that, Tyler. So release that. Pull that. Yeah, you're right. So there's a lock here, which you can see locks on this little catch here. But Tyler's right. There's not one on this side. So let's have a look at that again. Okay. So if we close that. So yeah, it's spitting it. Is there any lock at the bottom? I mean, I'm gonna have a look at this again. I think it's just the one. Right, so yeah, if you're gonna pull it, I would suggest actually pull it closer to this single catch. So let's have a look again. So yeah, I don't think there's any catch mechanism at all at the bottom. So there we go, that is the ladder. Right, we'll, oh, we'll climb up it. <laughs> right, so let's have a look. That is Max weight of 150 kilos. I think I'm... Even safe. with my mild middle-aged spread, I think I'm in good shape, so I don't know about right. Maybe not, not after Christmas. Now, obviously, I'm worried about it hitting the bodywork there. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. You, you, I guess are you liable to, to kick your feet on that, Tyler? Do you think if you are going to use that a lot, you'd want to put some protection on the bodywork there? Yeah. I think you'd want a vinyl cut graphic, wouldn't you, or something to stop you scratching the paint as you... Perhaps a nice wheel arch. Yeah, well, nice it, yeah and, and that one again, look, I think you're going to need a black graphic going up there mm. to stop you from scratching all that. But indeed, it does get one onto the roof for roof things. It's, right, got, then, a, it's got a nifty little action. Nifty little action. There. Oh, right. Aesthetics. 10 out of 10. Does yeah. look good. Packing, 9 out of 10, maybe 8 out of 10. Disappointed with that plastic bag that sort of disintegrated. I can see people getting those with things. I think you should have catches at both sides. I think that this feels, feels a bit just with the one catch. I mean obviously it stops it coming undone but I, I'm not sure about that. So that. Would that be like a design category? That would be design, yes. Design, um, yeah. Seven? Seven. Um, I think they could have put some anti-loss washers on those little, so that when you put those bolts in, you could put them in and it would hold it all there while you found it. That would make it easier installation. And I think there is the need here for some graphic panel um, out of the vinyl, the same vinyl we've used for the bonnet, just to put here to stop you scratching the paint as you go up and down. So we might look at getting that as well. Um, the lock in, I didn't check it locked. We got more keys. Mm, let's have a look. So that must that must somehow stop the lock for that. But it's still it's still got all this going on. I wouldn't secure anything off it while it's while it's up. Right, so there we go. Ladder, ladder fitted. We'll put the part number, we'll put the genuine instructions below if you've got any comments. We love your comments. In fact, don't watch the video, just read <laughs> the comments below, they're always great. Um right, good luck with that. <laughs> Shows how rubbish we are. We thought we'd finished, but we hadn't. We'd forgotten the finishing cover. Um, now basically you've got these four metal things. Now you'll notice it's a bit deformed. Can you see that on the camera there? It's like these need to sort of, we'll see it when we go to fit it. Those little legs are a bit twisted, right? Now this explains something. When we put these bolts in, I was going, ah, oh, you could use the sideways ones or the, luckily we followed the instructions because <laughs> these ones that go this way, uh, obviously to take these metal clips. So I think we're gonna have to get these. Right, first thing, you do need to deploy your ladder. Now, you'll notice that if I got this side here, this side is it's sort of out, so it looks 
Oh, hold on, get that under there. So I think I'm going to have to get those in. Oh, yeah, that clips in there. And that one there. Oh, I'll have my fingers right. And then there's shoot, just better push that down, which does make it a lot neater. That's all good, isn't it? Yeah. Right, there we go. Let's re redeploy that. And that is the job done. Just give it a, another little view around so people can see it from different angles, Tyler. It doesn't look like it'll obscure much of your... It, it doesn't, again, like we discussed before, it doesn't stick out. Because I thought, well, how did they get away fitting a ladder on the side of a car? But if you look, the wheel arches come out way more than the... Than the yeah. Sword. So it's, it's all in line with the car. You're not going to, like, hit pedestrians as you drive past them. Well, there we go. Ladder all installed. All ready to go. Next up, what we've got to do, we've got to do the wheels. And we've got to do the winch next. So we're, we're, Ooh, getting, over there. we're getting through our, yeah, all over Don't there. Don't look over there. <laughs> right, good luck with that. Right, just a word of warning. If you plan to take the ladder off again, um, I've just taken it off because we need to do some more development work on the car. And the little clips have snapped off. So it's kind of going to be a one-time only deal. So that's the metal clip. And you can see the plastic. There you go, you see the plastic's inside the clip. So removing it, you're going to struggle. So one, two, that one, that one's remain. That one, uh, or that other third one, look, he's four, third, so three have gone and one remains. So I'm going to have to find an alternative way of, but I don't think it'll be too hard. I think I can put a couple of, a couple of pot rivets. Oh, where's my, I can put a couple of rivets, not pot rivets, um, riv nuts in the top here and I'll, I'll bolt it down. So I'll be okay. But there's a little, just a little note there.